Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Boy, am I happy because this came really unexpected. The release of this product was actually 2016. From time to time, within the Chanel boutiques, the beauty boutiques, um, this is a quick unbox, not unboxing, reveal actually. We'll get to the details in a second. Uh, so what I've noticed is that the Chanel beauty boutiques, they have these surprises in stock. And this is something that they don't mention, but it happens. I'm noticing it more and more that they have discontinued products from time to time popping up in very limited quantities or all sorts of little, little things. Like, for example, the body oil. So they had just one and I bought it, but I already have one. So I'm not going to unbox this one because I love this product so much. I'm just going to leave this one as um, something that I'm going to use when I actually finish. This one is, you see, I'm using it. You don't need much of this because it's a, it's a dry oil. But anyway, this is how it looks like inside the body oil, which I already have. But then I was so scared to kind of use too much of it because it was discontinued. But now from time to time within the Chanel Beauty Boutiques, it does pop up. And I love that they do that. It's just... Anyway, I don't talk much about Chanel body and beauty products. Chanel number no. 5 in particular, because those are the ones I really love how they smell. But let's let's talk about it today. So this was the reveal of this fragrance, which is a surprise. So check out... Um, I know that on the American website, the body oil... Well, as I'm filming now, it is available, but nowhere else in the world is it available on the Chanel website. And also, it comes and goes, so it's not always readily available. Um, it's from the Senses range of the Chanel Number no. 5 uh, body range. God, range 50,000 times. The dry body oil. What does it even mean? Well, when you apply it, it is a bit messy because uh, it has a sprayer. And I'm not going to spray it now here because all this paper, it's all going to turn into an oily mess. <clears throat> and it is quite messy, even though it's a dry oil. When you spray it on, the sprayer does create quite a cloud of oil all over the place. So a lot of it is going to end up on the floor. Unless you don't spray it very close to the skin, you know. Because if you spray it far, it, the, the cloud will dissipate all over the place. And you're going to have oil everywhere. So you have to come really close to it and do kind of quicker sprays just to kind of put it in one spot, localize it to not lose too much of it and to not put it all over the floor. And then you can kind of rub it all over yourself. And the smell is just divine. It's literally that good. Dry body oil, because it absorbs really quickly, it does, however, still, I would say it's, even though they call it a dry body oil, it gives you the sensation of it being dry, but it's still there and it can still stain. So it's a very tricky product to use. You, I would suggest using it right after you take a bath. Let's say you dry yourself up with the towel, then I would step back into the bathtub or into the shower cabin, wherever you were, and then spray yourself with it, rub it in, let it kind of absorb as much as you can before you step out of the bathtub or out of the uh, shower cabin again and then you start getting dressed, you start getting ready. Another thing I've noticed that I kind of think is best, especially now that I have longer hair, um, when you do have longer hair, when you start massaging this into your skin, of course it stays on the hands and then if you washed your hair and you took a shower and right after that your hair is still wet and then you apply this to your body and after that you dry your hair and you do your hair, well eventually most of the oil that's left over on your hands will end up in your hair. I have oily skin so my hair tends to get oily really soon. I literally have to wash it almost every day. It's that annoying. So I have to be very careful to first, this is a really complicated ritual, I take a shower I then dry my hair, then I go back into the either bathtub or cab bath or shower cabin, then I apply this to my skin because I'm not touching my hair anymore. I apply this to my body and after that I do whatever else I need to do and then I get dressed. This is the best way it works for me. However, there are those days where I don't need to apply on my legs, on my on everywhere, you know. I could just put this on my arms because the smell is so good that you you just want to to have it around it 
And so I would, if you're applying it just on your elbows, on your arms, maybe on your knees, then it's, you're not um, using up so much of it that could cover up the floor if, you know, droplets fall all over the place. But still, it's a messy product. So you have to be kind of really careful with it. Uh, my sales associate at the Chanel Beauty Boutique did tell me that their uh, golden fragments, semi-gel oil for the body is coming back this winter. I cannot wait for that one. I'm not going to uh, let that one slip this time around. And I would also really love, and hopefully they're bringing that one back soon, the shower oil, the number five shower oil, which is also discontinued. That one is also rumored to be coming back uh, for the holiday season. So those are definitely things I'm looking forward to because the Chanel bath range smells really divine. The number five bath range is especially divine because it's as if they reformulate their fragrances slightly different according to the product that you're using. So this has a quality of a, of a fragrance. It doesn't the smell of it on your skin doesn't last many hours. Longevity is blah, three hours tops. But it just smells so nice, powdery, soft, clean, and flowery, just to the right, you know, just the right amount of it. And it really brings, it puts you in a great, good, positive mood. It's just a mood boost. It's that good of a mood boost. So um, I welcome all of these Chanel body products and I'm really curious to see and try the shower oil, the Chanel Number no. 5 shower oil. That, that one I'm looking forward to the most. Another thing that they had at the boutique, which is also discontinued, which was also first launched around 2016, was the foaming bath gel. Because if you check out on the Chanel website, you will see the shower gel or the bath gel. But then there's a second product that you won't see online because it's not available anymore, except sometimes as a surprise in some of the Chanel beauty boutiques, you will find the, the foaming bath gel. So, but because it is labeled as bath, I'm more of a shower person. I'm not so sure. I don't know. I might try it out. The foaming um, bath gel. I do like a lot of foam, but then if you're showering and you're over foaming, I don't know how that would work. I guess shower gel is better in that case, but all the technical sides of foam or non-foam aside, what I do want to know is uh, how both of them smell. So to compare the shower gel to the foaming gel is something I'm looking forward to. If anybody of you already knows or has both products or has tried both products, please let me know in the comment section down below and down below how they perform in terms of the smell of either of both of them, like next to each other, which one smells more intense, which one less, and how the performance is in terms of uh, the foam and the hydration of the skin, is one more oily, how's the texture than the other, blah, blah, blah. In terms of smell of the oil, it comes closer to the number five Lo, which I have here in the 20 milliliter refillable spray. See the description at the bottom here. Number five, low eau de toilette in 20 ml. It's a twist and spray. There it is. <clears throat> it comes close to the divine dry down of the low. That's what you have here in the head notes, but it's still different enough. Fresh, it's, it's fresher and because it's also oily, it also smells oilier. I don't know, there's some warmth in this. There's a duality of freshness and warmth at the same time it's just so delicious it's so comforting it's so balmy and really just that good i also wanted to briefly mention while oh, we're talking about body uh products chanel number no. five body products here's <laughs> put in a little container so it doesn't stain anything i'm using up the number no. five soap as well this is how it looks like a couple of days in you've seen me unbox it a couple of days ago it does stick to this now. Um, I usually take, this is so funny, I put some water in here, I rub this and I use this up as well, but I rub my whole body when I'm showering with the soap. Uh, it does dry you quite a bit, so I do have to mix it up with a bit of oil, but in general, the texture of it, now that I'm using it up, no matter how many layers of this you take off as you're using it and you're washing yourself, it still keeps smelling from within more and more. You know, some 
cheaper soaps, they're superficially perfumed in the surface, and then the more you kind of go into them and the less they smell. This one, let me smell it. Oh my God, it's so... Mm, my mouth starts watering immediately. You just want to eat it, actually. It's, it's just that good. And... It's a bit oily as well, you know, you could you could see that there are those essential oils in there that are rich and textured and layered because as I'm touching it, even though it's dry, it it's not just dry, you know, you can feel that there's a there's an oily consistency there and when you smell your hand after touching it, ah, oh, mmm. I know it ain't so pretty to see after you start using it, but it doesn't matter. The smell of it is just divine. It's antiseptic anyway. It's disinfectant, so don't worry about leaving it in the open. You know, every time you use it, you will take a layer off, and it's going to kind of clean itself. Oh my gosh. So basically, this stands like this in the open, in the bathroom, and it just... I don't want anything to cover it. I just want it as open, see, I just, as, open as possible, because this smell, even when it's dry... It keeps just spreading out and it's so delicious. It's so good. So I enter the bathroom in the morning when I take a shower. This already welcomes me. The scent in the bathroom is perfection. And then I take a shower and then I smell it. And then I put the oil. And that adds another layer of number five deliciousness to the whole equation. And it's just, you're in heaven. Honestly, it helps me start the day. It's like... It, it's a mood booster. It you're literally you go to work with a better mood. You're just like you're happy. <laughs> it literally makes you that happy. So anyway, I just wanted to mention this quickly because I was so happy to have found it uh, readily available with Anna Chanel Beauty Boutique, the body oil. So I stocked up on another bottle, and that that was a quick video. Uh, let me know if you have the body oil as well. What your experiences with it are. Also, if you have tips and tricks to apply it. Maybe there's a better way of applying it than I have applied it until now. But this is the best way it works for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this uh, quick, uh, what was it, reveal and maybe review, <laughs> partially also soap review and body oil review, uh, thumb up this video and let me know what you think about it and the products in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to, if you wish, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Super Decob, all spelled together. I'm also on Patreon, also Super Decob, all spelled together, where you can see videos that are not available on YouTube, but also most of the special videos come first to Patreon, and then to YouTube, and they stay ad-free over there, as well as exclusive photos and more information about me and uh, my life, as well as work. Also, be sure to check out the Ask Jacob TV show, which is not a TV show, I wish. For now, it's a YouTube series present on my YouTube channel um, where you get to call in live and we talk on camera. The first episode is already out. I will post the link also in the description box underneath this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never forget to never give up on love. See you soon. Take care. Bye.